Do you feel you have tried all marketing channels and you're looking for a new one? Then I might have something for you. This is Gravitech, a software for browser push notifications. Let's check it out. This is the Gravitech platform. Very well designed and easy to use. On the dashboard we have all of our websites that we have Gravitech installed on. And I'll just choose my own website right here. We'll be thrown right in to see some statistics, basically a report up here from the 14th of January until the 14th of February. Let me just change to lifetime so we get some data. So here you can see that for June in 2021, I sent 57, 56 got delivered and 33 of these were seen, nine were opened and 16 were closed. So this means that I have a conversion rate right now for my type of push notification on 27.27%. That is pretty good. If you're a web shop, of course, your conversion is measured differently. But that is the reporting. We do also have some campaign history over here where we can dive into the different campaigns we've sent out. And basically we can just see the numbers, how many has been sent, delivered, seen, opened, just like you saw before, but for the specific campaign. Then we can also see what browsers are supported, what OS has been used, countries, and so on. So this is more if you want to deep dive into the different campaigns. Then we have an overview of our subscribers here, where you can see the country, the city, basically a summary down here where you can count all of your subscribers based on a filter, the OS they're using, and basically just a lot of great data. Of course, all of these subscribers are anonymous, so we cannot see who they are exactly. We can just see some data behind who they are. Then we do also have some segments here where you can segment all of your subscribers into different types of criteria. That is again, if you want to maybe send push notifications based on the article to one group and another article via a push notification to a second group. That is also possible in the segment. But let's try and create a campaign. This can be done in multiple ways, but I'll show you two ways now. The first one here is just completely generic manual typing. You can choose the quick mode if you want where you can enter a URL or you can just type in manually. To begin with, I will just type in manually. And as you can see, while I write over here on the right side, it is filling it out so we can see how it looks in Chrome on Android, Windows and Mac OS. So right now on Windows, the logo is not looking so good, but that is on Windows 7. And within all of these OS, we can also choose the browser. So you can see there is some stuff with the logo that is not looking so good. Then we can also choose the destination URL. I will just choose my website right here. And if you're working with UTM codes, that is also possible to fill in here. So you can see in analytics how many actually clicked on this browser notification. Then we choose when we want to send it out. Right now it's just immediately. We can choose the category over here and we can choose in what span it should be sent out. You can also choose if you want to distribute the delivery. Moving down here, we choose the rich notification, which is with images and buttons. So we can add a button here and then this button will have a title and it will have a URL as well. And you can add a second button as well, but scrolling up, you can see the button down here is now called title. So this can be used for secondary links. Moving down to targeting, this is where if you want to segment your notification only to go out to a specific type of people that you have already segmented. It can be via tags. It can also be via a segment as I just showed you before. And now this one is actually ready so I can send it out. I will not do this now. The second way you can do it is via URL. So here I have my newest article and I will now press autofill. So it will take the meta title and the meta description fill out fill out the destination URL. I can even down here choose the image I want to use and I can choose what I want to crop it as. So I'll choose it there. You can see now it has an image. I can also upload an icon if I want to really narrow it in to show the specific image I want to. And then when this one is ready, I can send out the campaign. So you can see the second one was much faster to set up because the content was already written. I just had to enter the URL. But now let's try and go to automations because in here you can use an RSS feed to push notifications out in a more simple, simplified way. 
within the automation here we have our feed and then here we choose what time period should these be shooting out how many campaigns per day what time zone whether it should be top news or breaking news and then again we can add buttons if we want to very simplified and this just runs in the background by itself you don't have to do anything going back to the automations you can also build drip campaigns and a drip campaign is basically just a lot of campaigns coming after each other so let's say that there should be an interval of three days we'll call this one youtube drip campaign and it should start tomorrow then we go on to the next step where we can add all of the urls here so i will just add to campaign so right now we have a drip campaign of three push notifications as you can see here i can then save it and activate it or I can just save it if I still want to maybe add some more articles to this drip campaign. And this again will run completely automatically, sending out three push notifications basically after each other where there is an interval of three days. This is also working very well. Now going back to the automations, we also have push digest. We can also tweet to push or we can send out a welcome message to all the new subscribers. In the push digest, it's very simple. We can send out either daily or weekly a digest of all of your content. So let's see the daily one here. This one is made in a smart way. It is sent out Monday to Friday at 10 o'clock in this time zone. It is showing me the six top news. And then it is just having a title and read the most popular news for the previous day. Very simple. But this is if you just want to recap your entire news site. Because if you were right, maybe two or three articles per week, it doesn't make so much sense to use this digest. But if you're a new site and you have hundreds of articles a day, then this could be very interesting to maybe create an overview for your visitors to draw them in and read your news again. Now, we also have the tweet to push right here where I have connected my Twitter account. And then we can automatically send out campaigns based on hashtags from Twitter. This I have not played so much with and it is sometimes a little bit dangerous because if you choose a very popular hashtag, you can end up spamming all of your visitors on your website. So just be careful with this. But this is the automations. They are very easy to use and they can really bring a lot of traffic to your website if you use it in the right way. The last thing I want to show you is the prompt and bell. Because in here you can customize how it looks when your website asks for permission to send out notifications. So you can see, we can both see how it looks on the mobile and on the desktop. And here you can change how you want the appearance to be, if you want it as a model, a toaster, or just a subscription bell down there. Then you can change the design of it. You can change how it should be showed. Right now I've chosen after delay of two seconds. You choose the colors and then the text. And it's so important you just don't write, can I send you push notifications? because that doesn't make any sense for the visitor. The visitor needs to know what do they get out of accepting push notifications. And that is why for my website, I have asked, would you like to receive a software review once a week? Then I have added the button, I don't want, I want reviews. Very simple. And for mobile, I've just changed the design a little bit, but I have kept the same text. Over here, we also have the block overwrite where we can choose to reshow the permission prompt after a certain amount of days or after they have read maybe two or three pages. So let's say a visitor comes to your website, declines the push notifications, read your website and they're interested. So they keep on reading. And when they reach the third page, then you ask them again, are you sure you don't want to receive push notifications so I can tell you all the great news that I'm building for you? That is a really neat feature. And the last one is the bell where they can just get an overview of all of their push notifications, basically like an inbox. You can choose the inbox right here. You can also choose if they should have the notification configurator, but I have just the push notification on. So let me just show you on my website how this looks like. So here we are on my website and up here you can see we have a little notification asking, would you like to receive a software review once a week? If I say I don't want, it will just disappear. If I say I want reviews, it will then open the real push notification permission question over here in the browser where I can say allow. And now I have allowed. So you can see down here in the right corner, a little bell came where I can see my push notification. These four push notifications I've already received so I can mark them all as red. 
and now the push notification bell down here is empty. And that is how it looks. You can really customize it as you want to. And the way you get gravity on your website is just by copy and pasting a little script, basically like installing Google Analytics. And you can see right here, it's just a simple script you insert. You can also download the WordPress plugin if you want to, or here, if you're using Wix, Tilda or others, you need to do it in a little bit different way, but they have these three ways right now and it's very simple to install. Now, Gravitex pricing plan is very simple. They have a free plan that you can use for as long as you want trying out Gravitech and even using it for your website. And then they have the paid plan where the amount you pay depends on the number of subscribers you have for your account. For the paid plan, you also get automations and you get access to their API. Now the alternatives to Gravitech is OneSignal and WebPusher. One signal is a head on functionality. You can do A B testing. Maybe they don't have as many integrations as Gravitech. So, Gravitech is perfect for WooCommerce and Shopify web shops. Whereas, One signal is a bit more wide in their target group and you can use it for multiple things. Within One signal, you do also get mobile app push notifications. So Gravitech is maybe not so much behind one signal. It is just two different use cases. And WebPusher is a more simplified version of all of these three combined. So depending on your need, you need to choose the software that fits your use case perfectly. Gravitech is a product that has been developed for some time now. That is also why the future is very interesting because we don't see bug fix fixing and core development. We only see new feature and new development. So first off, they're working on integrations to Shopify, WooCommerce and Wix. So we can send push notifications on abandoned cards. If a product is back in stock or something third, this will really make it possible to draw back all of your visitors and make them do the purchase you want them to. Then they are also working on automation integrations to Integrately, SyncSpider and Integromat. So we can push our data from Gravitech to these integration platforms and then to a third party platform where we want to utilize all of this data. Last but not least, then they're working on a new feature where we can make push notifications based on an RSS feed. So if you're using WordPress or something other of these types of CMS systems, then you often have an RSS feed. This RSS feed is updated every time you publish a new post. So in this case, you will be able to send out a browser notification every time you publish a new post. And this will happen completely automatically. That is what makes this feature so interesting. Using Gravitech, I'm a big fan of their automations and their drip campaigns and just the fact that it's so easy to use. But I really hope that they will implement some A-B testing in the near future so we can hire this low conversion and then that they will make the Safari support just easier because right now it is so complicated to make it work. If you have a web shop, then Gravitech is a perfect new marketing channel for you. The options are endless. Gravitech really comes with a lot of opportunities, a well-developed platform which is why I want to give Gravitech four stars. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.